here's a question for you rock hunters. Have you ever considered using beach sand in lieu of your 6090 grit for your first round of tumbling? In this adventure of Jaws Jr., we're going to do just that, but we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see what works better for the first round of tumbling, beach sand or coarse grit, which is basically 6090 grit. So sit back, let me show you what I'm going to do to get this set up, and then we will show the results after everything is done. The rocks that we're tumbling, mostly jasper, may have a little bit of jasper agate mixed in with it. Mostly reds. And this is just stuff that's been collected in a wide variety of areas in the Pacific Northwest. Some of it might be a beach find, some of it might be Willamette River find, some of it could be off of the Columbia River, some of it could be up in the Ochoco, some of it could be up in Washington State near Yakima. Don't know. I honestly don't know where all the stuff was collected at. Some of it could be in Southern Oregon. Some of it could be in um, Douglas County. So it's just a good random mix of reds, jasper. I love this stuff anyway. It's pretty cool. Although there's stuff other in here other than just all reds, but that's okay. So the tumbling grit we're going to use. First, what everybody knows, this is a 6090 tumbling grit. But we're going to go do a side-by-side -side comparison with beach sand. And this is sand that was picked up from the Oregon coast, sifted and pretty well cleaned up. So it's hopefully pretty much all sand. There might be a little bit of material in here that's not it, but it's not going to affect the effect what I'm trying to do. So the tumbler that we're going to use is probably the cheapest one out there on the market, but there's a reason why I'm doing this. First, it's, of course, it's a Harbor Freight dual drum rotary rock tumbler. And the reason why I want to do this is because we'll have two similar size tumblers, the similar amount of material, both going at the same speed right next to each other. The only difference is, is one will be have the grit and one will have the sand. So what we're going to do is we're just going to evenly distribute the rocks into these. I don't really care if this one goes into what. Truly random. So that will come out a little bit too much there. So there you go. There's how much is going in. Yep, that's a good amount. So, the instructions that I have been following for my tumbling has been three tablespoons that's a tablespoon, not three, four tablespoons of coarse grit. Okay, that's it. So 
So after the coarse grit, let me go ahead and put this back on here. For some reason, the grit is much happier with these creamer containers with a piece of cellophane over the top. So if you're wondering why there's a piece of cellophane laying around my table, now you know. Now, I've been doing some reading and I have not been able to find a similar mix on how much to add, how much sand to add to this other than I read somewhere in a very old reference manual where people were using twice as much sand as what they were using grit. So that would equate, equate to eight. I think that's quite a bit for this little container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and off of the powers that I might have, which are next to none, I'm going to do a wild guess here. We're going to do six. Okay. So there's six. camera, sand, tumblers what you want to do I'll troll these up so they can stay in place you don't want these all the way up against the edge rubbing here because if you do you see that what's what happens now we bought these used um, $25 Craigslist ad type thing we got three of them so what we're both supposed to do is use these little tabs here and make it so they're just barely touching the drum and on this side here, it's the same way. This one here, I've already moved it in and tightened it down pretty good, I think. Oh, there's a breeze. So if you hear wind noise, sorry about that. So now, this can rub, can spin without rubbing the sides. There will be a ring right here. And if this starts squeaking, all I do is I go get a very small thing of Tef, uh, well, I get a Teflon spray, put a little bit on my finger, and rub it right there as it's spinning, just lightly. And I do that on both sides. That gets rid of the squeak that happens with this. So I'm already plugged in. Now, I have never ran this tumbler loaded. So let's find out. Boy, that's a rough one. That's vibrating and shaking.
So we have seven days of doing this. And I do plan on running multiple tumblers, so I like to write on here what's going on. So this is sand versus 60, 90. One thing I noticed, there's some buildup here on these, so I had to stop it. And using, of course, steel wool. Not rubbing hard, just enough to remove the buildup. Try it again, make sure this runs smoother. A little bit smoother. One more thing, I am gonna unplug this and move it. It's not gonna sit here on my my small work table for the next two weeks either. So I'm gonna go move it where I've got another one. And yeah, I'll bring it back, set it up here again, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, we're going to keep these straight. 6090, the one with the asterisks on the handles. And the sand is the one without. So we're going to keep these separate. Okay, so we're going to open up the 6090 first, the standard grit. Like it's hardly even been touched. Yeah, these have to get run again for sure. It doesn't even look like they've had any, uh, hardly any time on it. Can hardly tell the difference. Put them in here. No. So I don't even need to run this for a second week. I'm going to say definitely the sand is a fail as compared to the coarse grit. Good thing to know. I was kind of hoping it would do better, but it definitely did not. See, you can see that real rough spot on the sand side there. And on these ones here, you don't have anything like that. It's all nice and smooth. So I think it's kind of uh, conclusive that sand, well beach sand, Oregon beach sand, is definitely not a good material for your coarse grit. Your 
better off to go with just buying your coarse grit material and running with that. Well, there you go. <laughs> that was a pretty conclusive test on the sand versus a 6090 coarse grit. Like I said, I was planning on doing this for two weeks, but you know, I'd be wasting my time, especially with the sand, it looks like. But that's nice to know. I've heard of similar results. I've heard that the sand doesn't do as well. But you know, I wanted to give it a try and show everybody else here how well it worked, which as you can see, it didn't. So just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, doing little experiments, doubling rocks. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!